What's happening, everybody? This is Rensei, and we're back with another episode of Disgaea. In the last episode, we spent 24 and 100 years in the item world trying to get a protector up to level 10, which we have done, and now we have it equipped to Laharl and ready to proceed. Prince, I see you have a level 10 plus item equipped. I will na now add Denaro Palace to the list of available areas. Once a gate is open, it will remain open. You no longer need to equip an item of level 10 or higher. Denaro Palace sounds rich to me. <laughs> I can't wait to see what's there. Dude, we'll work hard for our paycheck. That was an awful printy voice. Anyway, we have access to Denaro Palace now. Usually I would go back and unequip. Speaking of going back, did I heal? Yes. Okay. Um, normally I would go back and unequip that level 10 item, but in this particular instance it's actually better than the stuff that I had equipped anyway. I haven't been doing so good on items, uh, at least for Laharl anyway, in this playthrough. So let's proceed into the gaudy entrance. Alright, so this one looks like we got a lot of brawlers equipped with various weapons. And is this a, uh, a fire mage back here? Uh, still a brawler, but equipped with, or a pugilist, sorry, but equipped with a staff. Let's, uh, what level is everybody? Uh, five-ish. Let's have Laharl run up the middle. I could come in here and blazing knuckle him. Yeah, let's, let's give it a shot. Let's see what happens. I don't use the skill all that often, so it's nice to see it when you get the shot. That was very effective. Okay. Let's see, who needs the experience now? Z? I really don't want Z to get left behind, because he, he is weak to ice. That's going to work for us. Okay, we got Rapid Fire now, which is fire. Uh, this one... Yeah, this one attacks four in front of you. But we're just going to use Tri-Burst. Very good. Alright. Let's see, Edna and Flan need some experience. Let's send them up towards the front. I don't want Flan to go too far though, because that archer will shoot her and it's going to do most likely a lot of damage. Let's have Christine come wide, and Elise come with, and as I said, Tanya's usage is going to shrink a lot, so we're not even going to bring her out with us. Okay, the mage is moving forward. That's going to do a lot. That did almost nothing. Is uh, Edna, I assume, is resistant to fire? No, normal. Um, I don't know. She just must be weak. I mean, it is a pugilist using a staff. Not what you want. Let's, uh... Do I have access to... Yes, okay. I can reach, so we're gonna cast Star. Edna needs experience as well, so we're gonna have her hit this archer. With a Skull Splitter. Let's just see what that does. Don't end the turn, though. Oh, not quite. Okay, that worked, though. Um... That's the way we're gonna do it. Who needs it more? Not Cynthia. Let's have Elise move up and finish off this mage, hopefully. Ooh, that's perfect. That's ideal. Sweet. Laharl, I'm gonna have mostly hang back because he's he's too strong to even weaken the enemies right now. He would just kill them outright. Push forward here. Push forward here, and end our turn there. Okay. Ooh! Team attack on us. That's not good. Double team attack. Um, I believe... In fact, I know. I don't believe. Uh, since they're using the same weapon, they actually have an increased chance for team attacks. So they're, they should do them fairly regularly. Let's step back. Actually, let's show off that new move. Walk back to where you were. Rapid fire, step back. Target high problem, okay. Can I get on the other side of him? I can. Is it gonna be enough? Nope. Okay, well that's fine. We're not gonna show that move off yet then. Uh, the camera in this one is rough. Let's uh, do another one of those. Have her step to the side and hit this... Ooh, actually. Let's uh, execute that and see what happens. He's down. He's probably going to do it for this one, too. Oh, not quite. 
Oh. So, let me see if this is one of these cases. Uh, that guy just had very high HP. Uh, but sometimes these guys have... No. Sometimes these guys have well above normal resistance. Uh, just randomly. Uh, that wasn't one of those cases, though. Um, what can you do? You could sky lunge him out. Uh, actually, you can't. Can if I do this, though. So let's sky lunge you out of there. And uh, Laharl actually is just going to get out of range. He's got enough experience. Should be enough damage, in theory. It's not even close. Oh, I forgot, that's the guy that has like 100 HP. Yeah, that was never gonna be enough damage. Okay, this is gonna be big. Yeah, that was awful. Um, hmm. Hmm, okay. I'm going to have, I'm gonna try something fancy here. This never works for me, but I'm gonna try it. And then I'm going to move her back and have her cast star on these two and hopefully get both kills. Don't turn by accident. Okay. And good. Sweet. Perfect. She's level 7 now. Let's go get some heals and we will continue. Gotta get those prennies paid. I would like to go back to the Narrow Palace and into the Golden Courtyard. What the? These are all from the castle. It was probably taken when the king died. So, this place belongs to an ex vassal. <laughs> this will be fun. Hey, Prinnies, this is for your paychecks. You better work hard. Aye, aye, dude. Hmm... Netherworld prennies are a lot different than Celestial prennies. In Celestia, prennies cook, clean, do the laundry. But they're all the same on the inside. On the inside? What do you mean? You're an angel and you don't know these things? Prennies have human souls inside them. Most of them are pretty worthless in their past lives, like murderers or thieves. They work as prennies in the netherworld in Celestia to atone for their sins. In Celestia, they do good deeds for free. In the netherworld, they do ultra-hard labor for less than minimum wage. Once they've redeemed themselves, or saved enough money, they can be reincarnated. I don't know all the details, but that's the basic idea. I see. But why do they work for money in the netherworld? You never heard of the saying, money makes the netherworld go round? I don't get it. Is money that important? Of course it is. Jeez, you Celestians. Look, there's nothing more important than money in this world or any other. Of course there is. Love and friendship and... Huh? What good is that stuff? Is your head full of flowers or something? Yes, I love flowers. Oh jeez, your head is full of flowers. And now we fight. Pretty much the conversations I have before a fight, usually, anyway. Alright, so this big blue bar across here is no entry, no lifting. Uh, so there's nothing we can do about that, right? We pretty much might as well give up, because there's no way for us to reach these guys in the back. So, uh, I don't know, let's fight these front four, maybe we'll figure out something by the time we get there. Uh, let's actually not have Laharl come out at first. We'll bring him out if we need the backup. He's level 10 now, that's really... Or actually, no, level 8. Uh, we'll probably bring him back out. Vaughn, sit back for a second as well. See, the problem in this game with Elise here is that spears are so weak. Uh, that's actually a bad idea. We're gonna want to sky lunge past him. Cool. And, uh... Z here. Unfortunately... Target height problems, he's still not going to be able to show off that new move. That's fine, though. Um, what are we looking at? Let's uh, have Z pop out here and just attack this guy. And let's actually execute that and see what happens. That's not going to be enough. 
This is definitely not going to be enough. The good news for spear users in this game, though, is that the way the stats work, it's always possible to just get your stats so insanely high that it doesn't matter how underpowered your weapon is. Uh, I'm gonna have you come up. Um, hmm. Let's attempt to star this guy out. I don't think it's gonna work. Oh, that was a lot of damage. Never mind. Never question Flan. She always does a lot better than you expect. Let's have you come up here and finish this guy off. Hopefully. And we'll have Laharo come out here and just pop this guy once. That'll do it for this turn. Yeah, figured. Ooh, that I didn't expect, though. Worked out in the end, anyway. Okay. Alright, shield. That should increase that enemy's defense for some amount of time. Uh, we threw all our melee guys in the front to get shot at by archers. That was a good idea. Strategy. Let's uh, try to rectify that situation real quick by... Um... Yeah, let's hit that with a star. It's about time, anyway. Have Laharl come around. If he's gonna do that low of damage... I mean, I want to see that it's still gonna happen that way, but let's go ahead and execute that and see if that damage is gonna stay that low. Okay. There's no longer a no-entry panel on there. Uh, we still can't lift, I believe. Uh, but we can enter, so... Oh. That's prime for the picking for right now. Go ahead and Get that kill. Alright, can Z get close enough? Is this the moment? One, two, three, four. I'm probably still gonna have target height problem, but I'm gonna give it a shot. Oh no. Alright, finally gonna show this off. Let's see it. That's great. It's a great move. He was weak to fire, too. I didn't even look. Alright, at least should be able to pick up that kill. That shouldn't be a problem. And it wasn't. And let's have, uh, you run in there. 65 health, huh? It's a little high. We'll give it a shot. I don't think this is gonna do that much. Not quite. And Edna's already attacked, but she can still move, so we're gonna have her run up and fill in this entrance space. Alright. I can do it! Ooh. Ooh, see that's more like what I'm used to mages doing. A ridiculous amount of damage. Okay. Okay. So, let's go have you finish off the guy you started. Uh, this guy has 68 health. Um, I'm gonna move behind him because my boy here is gonna rapid fire him. And you are gonna stab him in the back. Oh, not quite. Yep, that got at least killed. Okay. Let you finish that off. Come over here, throw a star out on that guy. And Laharl may have to come clean up. We'll see what happens. Yep. Alright, Laharl. He can't, though. So we're just gonna hope they don't kill anyone else. Which they will. I can do it! Okay. Alright, we're not doing so hot. That's fine. I don't think we're at any risk of actually failing. Uh, yeah, it's just the two of these guys left. Uh, the mage is weak to wind, so... That's not gonna do much for us. We'll hit him with a star. That's a lot of health, though. Let's uh, uh, actually cancel that star real quick. Hit him with a hurricane slash. Hit him with... Hit him with triburst. Sorry. There we go. Uh, let's get out here, just give him a regular attack. And... Star. Let's just end the turn, see what happens. This should, in theory, be way more damage than we actually needed. 
Um, it actually might be spot on, looking at it now. Nope, not even enough. I'm bad at estimating my math. Of course, though, it's a mage, so she should have high resistance. 49 damage. So much damage. Okay. So Flan is not getting that kill. So who else wants it? Uh, Z does. I believe we should just be able to pick it up with a regular attack, but let's execute and make sure. Yes. So what we're going to do now is... Encircle this Manticore. I think that's what this is. Uh, Fook the Manticore. Yeah, I got it. And, uh... Neither of those is going to be helpful. And, uh, move around the backside. Punch him in the tail. Come around here. Hit him with star and hopefully this does it. <laughs> probably not. I'm going to go ahead and say probably not enough damage here. It's going to be a lot of damage, though. But yeah, not even close. Well, close. Or, no, not enough. Okay, she's dead. And he still gets the full healing, even though she didn't have that much HP. That's fine. Uh, what's his weakness? Wind again. Uh, but fire will do some, so let's... One, two, three, four... And rapid fire that guy, and follow it up with a star. And let's see if that isn't enough. If Laharl gets the kill, it's not the worst thing ever. I don't think it's enough. Yeah, well, Harl gets this. That's fine. Perfect. Alright, magnifying glasses are better glasses, so let's go ahead and hop out of here. Let's uh, go see what Z has equipped. A fancy lid is doing nothing for him. Those glasses are going to do a lot more. What's this bullet? Sentries? Uh, I don't think I have anything better. Alright, let's go heal so that I don't forget. And... Ooh. So you really want to get something good on the rosary because it's another of those seal items that are really good. Um, and of course, because I want something good, I'm not going to get anything good. Broker's awful. That's not awful. Sorry, I shouldn't say that, but... Statisticians and Masters is pretty good. I'll take it, because I don't want to reset it anymore. But anyway, that's going to do it for this episode. I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.